The Duke University Marine Lab is a small coastal campus located in Beaufort, North Carolina. The campus seeks to be carbon neutral and has greatly reduced its carbon footprint. However, to reach its goal, it must invest in carbon offsets. A carbon offset is the reduction or removal of one metric ton of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. A protocol is the set of rules and guidelines that one must follow when doing a carbon offset project. When evaluating possible carbon offset projects, we evaluated them in the following criteria. We labeled interaction with students and faculty as the most important as we want this to be a learning experience for all involved. Next, we looked at total carbon reduction and then whether or not the offsets were permanent, additional, verifiable, enforceable, and real. We then looked at local impact and finally, feasibility of the project. Our first project proposal is urban forestry. We chose this project because it has existing protocols, good local interaction, and hands-on teaching possibilities for both students and staff at the Marine Lab. Our second project proposal is wetland restoration. This is a good project for the Marine Lab because the campus's surrounding area is plentiful wetlands and this restoration can be a valuable teaching experience with an existing protocol as well. And finally, we recommend avoided conversion. This project prevents the destruction of carbon sinks. Currently, a protocol exists for forest biomes and this project is the most effective in terms of total carbon reduction. Overall, all three projects have their pros and cons. We ranked urban forestry the highest because it is effective and has existing protocol, although it may not relate as well to the marine environment. Wetland restoration ranked a close second because of its proximity to the ocean and interaction with students and staff. And finally, avoided conversion was an interesting option because of its total carbon reduction and ability to encompass the five paver requirements.